K-I-L-I Storytelling Hour. My name is Brian Argent Cloud, and I come up here every Wednesday from 5 to 6, and I bring you a story about the Lakota language and about school. And this evening, I want to thank all you listeners out there. Thank you for listening. And I don't want to forget... Uh, the person that's recording these shows and uh, if you look uh, I don't know, uh, I don't have the website but it is uh, if you google it it might be in there uh, and he, he records these shows every Wednesday and also the ones that we do on Saturday so I really want to thank you for do, doing this and this evening, have a real good evening and uh, many of you are traveling back from work uh, have a good trip and uh, keep it right here on 90.1, right here on Porcupine Butte and also Rapid City 88.7 at K-I-L-I dot, K-I-L-I radio dot org on your internet. So again, thank you for listening and uh, uh, we have a story and then we have uh, some things that we will be bringing you. So keep it right there. Um, this is uh, Dennis, <coughs> Dennis Ghost from, uh, from Anderson. Um, I'd like to thank my lucky Brian for having me up here once again, and uh, Keeley Radio, oh. uh, the DGA, and, and everybody up here for allowing me to have my voice heard um, across the Lakota Nation. And um, I am very proud um, to be Lakota and be up here uh, um, speaking to you all and uh, to, share, to share some of the, uh, the stories that I'm learning um, with everybody else. Yeah. Uh that to Kiha Le Le Uchoyako Koyako Kile Uhunkanka. Oh na Ihani Uhunkanka Kile na the wo e one little e the chala and you won't la kam while Iachim while Iachim be up. Oh head. Oh head hosh the na while Iachim be na ha so that you won't live like this. Right. While you're telling this story, you're actually uh, counseling or you're actually uh, giving a good advice, but uh, the, they don't see this until you you finish it, yes. and, th- and then what that tell what that story tells tells them, then you you see le- like this these Lakota words waliachi and literally unconditionally. So there's a lot of uh, that's why uh, we tell these stories to our children a long time ago. That's a uh, ki yeah. Um, basically to give advice yeah um, and like you were saying earlier it's um, we tend to go the other way with it sometimes um, almost to the point of uh, preaching t- <laughs> <laughs> preaching almost you know like uh, uh, do as I say not as I do type of thing so lecturing uh, lecturing yeah exactly like the other day uh, one of the uh, kids said uh, all you do is talk I'm not learning anything <laughs> right, right exactly <laughs> Pretty much, um, you know, the the kids tend to be, uh, you know, tell it like it is. So, yeah, so I, I really appreciate that. Yeah, that's that makes you uh, think, though. Uh, and, uh, Sometimes the kids teach you. Yeah, yeah, you learn from them <laughs> a you lot. Learn from every day, you learn a every lot. day from the children. So listen to them, the, the, the children. They they tell you things the way it is, the way they see it. Yep. And uh, like the other day, one of them said, "You got a haircut." Yeah. And they know things. They they see things. Even like another times, uh, one of the uh, girls said, uh, "Do you have one shirt?" Because I always wear uh, a, a black shirt. Right. So they right. think that I only have one black shirt. So see, they 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 actually every day when you work with children, uh, they they see a lot of things. Yeah. And you. Um, and that's yeah. like you even said, um, yeah. you know, I had uh, one of the uh, the sixth graders came up to me and asked me about uh, 
you know, my shoes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I did get new shoes, but <laughs> you know, it was kind of weird. It was like <laughs> just the the smallest things just tend to amaze me, yeah. um, and that's and that's why I'm I'm appreciative that I I get, do get to uh, I get to work with the kids every day. Mm-hmm. Um, on a on a one on one basis, um, you know, if they're if they're paying attention to me like that, I should be paying attention to them a hundred times more. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That really, you know, that that kind of gets to me a little bit. So, so that you know, another one that uh, that that I might be getting off the limb here, but uh, when you work with these children, then uh, there's a word called image. Yeah. So, like, uh, one, one time, uh, one of these little uh, boy, or, uh, one of these children, said, uh, I saw you at a uh, gas station. And then another time, one of them said, I saw you at Walmart. So, I'm, I'm glad it's Walmart, and I'm glad it's a gas station. I'm <laughs> <laughs> You're exactly right so about that. So, we, when we, when we, that's, that, I, you know, that's anywhere. No matter where you go, right. you, know, you have to really keep your um, uh, character together. Yeah, and that's you know it's really good. Uh, it, it's not a this is not an advice. Although you can call it advice, I guess. But uh, you know, when we when we work with children, then we really have to be mm-hmm. uh, as teachers. We need to have that. Uh, Image. Image. Yeah. And mm, I'm glad this came up because it's, this came up just just by talking about this Walia uh, Chimpi uh, and Lechali Angsteshni and Wahukunkia. So I'm glad that came up. All of a sudden this word came up. So I hope we're not, uh, we didn't make anybody mad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it, uh, so that is why we tell these stories. We learn from them. Our children learn from them. And we do have one story here, but first, we have some things here that we'd like to talk about. Uh, we'll just read them, and then, uh, because uh, one time I was talking to a gentleman, and he said, uh, we did this a long time ago. I think it was uh, August of uh, last year, sometimes, to my notes. Uh, we sometimes we call them uh, values, and sometimes we call them uh, virtues. Virtues, yeah, right. And in in Lakota way, we call them uh, wowichala. Yep. Some some things that uh, wowichala is these things that we believe in are sim- things that we live. Okay, like when you live, and the, your children see you, and then you, they see some of these words in you. <coughs> These words actually is is when as you live with your children, there's going to be respect, there's going to be love, like that. So let's just go down the list here yeah. and see how many of these. Uh, the first one is uh, humility, and that uh, is to be humble mm-hmm. and modest. Well, how do how do you how would you describe modest? You know, not being. Um <coughs> Not being a braggart. Yeah. Okay. All right. You know, um, and part of that is is you know going back to your job. Uh, yeah. Going back to your job is you know if you if you go up and <clears throat> above and beyond you know what your what your job entails. Yeah. You know that's um, you know to be humble and modest is uh, that's that's fine. Not to call attention mm-hmm. to yourself. Mm-hmm. Hey, look at me. This is what I do. Yeah. I did this. Um, it's if it's you know part of your job. I mean, you should take yeah. <clears throat> take pride in that humbly. Take pride in that modestly. Mm-hmm. It, it, keep it to yourself because one thing that I've learned um, is that there's always people watching. There's all you know everything that you do. There's always people watching. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Somewhere down the line, um, you might get credit for it. You might not. Yeah. But to be humble and be modest, you really don't care if you get credit, yeah. mm-hmm. you know, or a pay raise or whatever, uh, something like that. It's just, you know what you do, and you, you keep kind of keep it to yourself. In, in the Lakota uh, uh, 
language, uh, the word is unshi ichiyapi. Unshi ichiyapi. Ichiyapi. Yeah, see, it's right here in that uh, mm-hmm. uh, phonetics. Unshi uh, ichiyapi. That's to be humble. Humble. Yeah. Okay, and then the next one is perseverance. No. Every Wednesday when we come up here, we use that word, perseverance. Perseverance. Persevere, that's wachintanka. Wachintanka. Yep, wachintanka is be strong, um, to persist, to strive in spite of difficulties. And that's, <coughs> you know, I'll read the rest of this. Okay. Uh, this <coughs> it's actually pretty, pretty interesting, um, you know, to pers- uh, persist, um, to strive in spite of difficulties. We all face difficulties every day. Mm-hmm. Yes. You know, this, <coughs> you know, the perseverance we could take off into five or six different directions, yeah. but um, to strive in spite of difficulties. You know, whatever, personal life, professional life, you know, whatever. Um, what it means to me, um, Lakota traditions, values, to survive as long as possible. Yeah. You know, that's the thing, you know, especially uh, the area we're in. Um, sometimes we are in survival mode. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Keep going. Um, you know, don't quit. And the rest of it goes on to say that uh, there is <clears throat> virtually noting that... Um, there can be no defeat without perseverance. Mm-hmm. No fatigue, no pain, no prejudice. Yeah. Uh, 1964 Tokyo Olympics, Billy Mills, um, Oglala Lakota, found a way to persevere when no one thought he could keep up with the other runners, much less win. Um, and he did. Yeah. You know, he mm-hmm. he found that <clears throat> he found that 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 thing inside of him, that perseverance. Yeah. Um, and like, and it also says here, um, when you're in school, you try as hard as you can. You keep going. Keep going. It's a never-ending, never-ending, um, almost <clears throat> you could say almost battle. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> in a way, a battle uh, mm-hmm. to to keep going. You might have the easiest job in the world, but there's still there's still battles there. You know, back to Billy Mills too. Uh, when he ran that uh, race in 1964. He was running against the world's top, fastest 10,000 meter runners. Right. And he persisted. Not just in the state of South yeah. Dakota. <laughs> <laughs> All over this world. All over the world. Yeah. Um, that's, you, you don't get any better than that. Nope. Um, it can't get any better than that. Unless you race a horse yes. or a, a no. cheetah or a jaguar, then yeah, maybe, but... Um, Against a against a man, yeah, mm-hmm. you know, a fellow man, you're you're better than everybody else. Yes, mm-hmm. that's um, that's amazing. Yep. I mean, um, you know, and he's one of our own. He's a Lakota. Uh, he's one of our own. Yes. You know, Billy Mills Hall down there yeah. in Pine Ridge. Yeah, that's um, that's amazing. Yep. Uh, you know, we think about um, you know, because everybody watches the Olympics. Yes, mm-hmm. you know, say he was going to run in the next Olympics. Um, you know, we'd all be cheering for him, but, you know, he at that, at that time, he was the best in the world. I think at that time, uh, nobody's ever won the 10,000-meter run from the United from States. From an American. An American. Right. And after that, did anybody ever win that 10,000-meter run? Mm-hmm. Uh, no. He's the only one. Right. Okay, the next one is respect. This is very important. Wa ohola. To be considerate, to hold in high esteem, Mother Earth and all forms of life. Respect is something really, that's really important. Yeah, and that means why you means you respect, uh, and then you and then there's another word iglu that means right. you respect yourself. Yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Next one is honor. Okay, honor means you honor people too. Why you only have to have integrity, to have an honest and upright character. And then we have love. Chante, chantoganake, or tehila. Tewahila. Yeah, tewahila. To place. And hold in one's heart, yeah. Heart love. Is there love today? 
What do you think? Somewhere. 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 Always. Okay. Uh, always. Yeah. Um, it doesn't matter um, where you're at or... Um, especially, you know, you have loved ones. Yeah. You have a mom and dad, yeah. an uncle, you're, you're aunt, whatever. Dad, children. children. Yeah. Um, you know, it's it's, yeah, it's yeah. your son's yeah. birthday yeah. today. You yeah. know, I'm sure that was on your mind yeah. um, all day. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, that's love. Yeah. Um, you know, to think of holding one's heart. That, yeah. That really says it all right there. Um, you know, if I was to go up and ask anyone um, to hold in one's heart, the, probably the first word that comes to mind is yeah. love. Yep. So. Mm-hmm. And then the other one is sacrifice. Each, each who be. Each, each who be. To give of oneself an offering. Each, each who be. Each, each who be. Now, sacrifice, maybe... Um, I don't know how how would sacrifice uh, when you love somebody you sacrifice, sacrifice. Yeah. you'll yeah. you'll do what it takes yep. to yeah. provide and care yeah. and yep. make sure they get to school and and things yep. things of that nature yep. and the truth wovichakshe that which is real yep the way the world is truth so you know always tell the truth yep. Uh, compassion, wa unshilapi, to care, to sympathize. And compassion, like, uh, like the grandparents. I remember my grandparents. They have compassion. Mm-hmm. Uh, like when you go to their house, they always have something for you. Right. I'm sure you run into that too. They'll dig in their Something front and give <laughs> right, you something, right, yeah. Right. Okay. Bravery, ohitika, having or showing courage. Courage. Bravery. Oh, okay. Ohitika. Yeah. Fortitude, chantewash ake, strength, strength of heart or mind. Right. Fortitude. And generosity. You see that every day in the Lakota way. Like you go to a wachipi, people the way. Mm-hmm. You have these giveaways. Yes. You see that on the uh, other cultures. Mm-hmm. I mean, do you see that? Oh no, 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 no. They're going to charge you for it. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, there's always a uh, a price to be paid for. Yeah, uh, yeah. For there's always a price to be paid for generosity. <laughs> <laughs> Any way you look at it. Yeah. And then the last one is wisdom. Woksape, uh, wisdom. Yes. Okay. To understand what is right and true. true. To use knowledge wisely. Mm-hmm. Okay, I wonder what that wisely to use knowledge wisely. So you can use knowledge in a bad way too. Oh, by far. But to here it says when you have that wisdom, uh, do it wisely <coughs> or do it right. And you know that that kind of yeah. goes back. You know when you wisdom. You know you think yeah. about the owl. Yeah. Wise. Or an elder, wise, you know, they, they, they've seen things and they've done things. And, you know, if you look um, look at an elder, you know, I don't know too many elders here that um, just jump judge, uh, jump right to judgment. Yeah. You know, they, they think a little bit, you know, uh, who is this coming from? What information are they giving me? Mm-hmm. You know, they have that, um, <clears throat> that filter, mm-hmm. that filter that... that you know that uh, deciphers what's right and what is wrong. Um, that's one. That's one thing I can say. You know about about elders, but everybody, you know, has wisdom. Yeah. Right? The choices that you make. Yeah. Um, I, and I run into that. You know, not really quite a bit, but you know, sometimes that uh, you know, there's people that say things that you know may not be true. Yeah. Because you know, the, uh, a lot of times, like uh, like I do that. I don't know. If, uh, like I'll I'll dig into uh, what people write mm-hmm. about maybe the Lakota language, right? About the not the word immersion or or the word uh, uh, teacher uh, classroom management things like that. Yes. And then and then all those things you read it and then you you think those are all truth. No, but maybe not. Maybe so not. You know yeah. that that kind of goes back to. Yeah. Uh, 
you know, my, my reading. Mm -hmm. You know, all those books that I'm reading yeah. and everything else is that, um, you know, I have a lot of people tell me, well, you know, those books, uh, you know, that's not the truth. Well, I am wise enough to know that the, you, you gather the information, yeah. uh -huh. you, you pick it apart, you take the, uh, you take the truth out of it. Yep. And that's um, and that's everyday life. I mean, because um, a lot of the books that I read are about um, Lakota. You know, so, especially since I've got here um, to Pine Ridge, is that everything that I can get my hands on, you know, Lakota, um, you know, anything about our culture, I'm reading about. Yeah. There's a lot of stuff in there, you know, before, you know, like maybe the first three or four months, things that I was reading, you know, uh, <clears throat> They were, you know, they were written about, you know, Crazy Horse, written about some guy down in Texas. <laughs> you know, yeah. it was written by him that he yeah. doesn't doesn't really know. No, that's the thing is I've and I've also come to find out that a lot of the stuff in those books just are not true. No, that's you know I'm gaining wisdom by you know listening to, you know the the staff at the school. Yeah, the, the you know the staff that I'm talking about that you know that that. You know the, the elders that, that work there. Yep. So um, that's a real that's a that's that's actually a, a pretty good one right there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But you but but then it, it, it kind of gives you that uh, like uh, that wisdom gives you those other people's wisdom. You can like you said you can get the truth out of them. Yes. And then and then you have to make your own uh, own decision. Own decisions. And um, what you're doing is you're researching. Yep. And then get the best out of it. And that's the weird yeah. thing about that is, yeah. um, you know, a virtue or a value, that's something you carry with you every day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's just not a, a moment out of a book or a conversation or anything. You take that, and that goes with you your whole life. Mm -hmm. Yep. I don't know if I'm going to go to KILI Radio. Storytelling Hour app. All, all you listeners out there, you are listening to the KILI Radio Storytelling Hour. And all these uh, stories are recorded. And uh, it could be uh, like uh, recorded on your internet and you can listen to it. And then next time we come, we'll give you that. Uh, uh, do they have a website there? Yes, yeah, I do. do I'll, I can. I can. Okay. It's actually, you can get it off of uh, the Keeley Radio uh, oh, yeah, okay. website. Okay. They'll, they'll have it on there, um, okay. pre-recordings. Okay, the story we have tonight is, uh, the title is, uh, 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 Kea, the turtle going off to war. Yes. Okay, and in Lakota it says, Kea Zuya Yinkte. Zuya, Zuya means to go on a war party or going to war. So if uh, you read it in the in our in our second language, right. then I'll read it in my first. Your language. first language, language right? <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, Kea, uh, the turtle going off to war. Kea was going off to war, and he decided to pick his own men. The first warrior that wanted to go was the rabbit. Kea wanted to have the best team for his war party, so he told the rabbit to run so he could observe him. The rabbit took off like a lightning and a cloud of dust, and when he got back, Kea stood there for a minute and said, I am sorry, but you are not very fast, and I don't want to be taking care of you. The rabbit went away brokenhearted. Kea ended up picking some of the slowest animals around for his war party. He picked the toad skunk, mouse, dragonfly, mosquito, and a cricket. They went off to war, and one day it was very hot, and everybody was just trudging along, and pretty soon the toad got all dried up and started sweating, so they had to leave him behind. The toad was brokenhearted. The war party kept trudging along until they came upon a place where they had to go through mud. It was gumbo because the mud began to, began to stick to their feet. They had to kick their feet very hard to get rid of the mud. The cricket broke his thigh bone from kicking too hard. They had to leave the cricket behind, and he too was brokenhearted. The dragonfly was crying because they had to leave his friend, the cricket, behind. 
The dragonfly blew his nose and broke his nose off, so they had to leave him behind. The war party now dwindled to three, the skunk, mouse, and the mosquito. But the turtle, Kea, kept the warriors going. They came upon an encampment, and they, did, and they decided to sneak into the camp. A huge teepee was in the middle of the camp. They peeked in there, <clears throat> and a man was sleeping. Kea sneaked in there and cut his head off, and they all took off. They came upon a hill and decided to rest. They should have kept their mouths shut, but instead they were whooping and howling, and a camp heard them and attacked them. They captured the skunk and turtle, found an old can which he turned upside down, and laid in there hoping they wouldn't find him. Mosquito and a mouse got away. They tied the skunk inside a teepee near a fire. He was having a hard time breathing and started howling. The turtle heard this, and he was very mad. During the night, an old lady came out of her teepee and turned the old can where the turtle was hiding. Turtle bit her arm and would not let go. Many men came and tried to get the turtle off the old lady, but the turtle had very strong jaws. They took him inside the big teepee and built a fire. They all stood around him trying to figure out how to get him off the old lady's arm. One of the men finally said, Make him laugh! So they all started pinching and teasing him, and finally he started laughing, and the old lady got away. One man tried to hit him with the axe, but he missed, and hit one of his own men and cut his leg off. The men got mad and tossed Turtle up in the air, and when he came down, it hit one of the men on the head and cracked it open. They could not figure out how to kill the turtle. Finally, one of the men said, Let's wrap him up in a blanket with some rocks and throw him in the water. The turtle heard this, and right away he knew that he will survive if they threw him in the water. He had to figure something out very fast, so he started to cry and wail, anything to make them think he was very afraid of water. They found a blanket and wrapped him up with some rocks and threw him into a deep water. As soon as they threw him into the water, he was very happy. He broke away from the blanket and swam away happy. The men came back to the camp thinking that Turtle had drowned. Okay, and this came from the uh, Lakota tales and text. Have you uh, ever, oh, yeah. ever... It's all written in Lakota. Lakota. Yeah, they have some really good Ohunkan stories in there. Oh. Ole in kea zuya yink te Kea wa zuya yink te Kutacha uichasha tonda ubi yink te ki oichale Oichale han kea pe Yung kha ma shtin chala wa ilhi na zuya yink Zuya a yink te ki hel ukha chin kea pe Yung kha kea ki heye ho Iyan ka yo e Yaina ke ke wa chiyan ki na ha Nikta ye cha cha ha tash U yink te lo e Chan ke yi mashtin cha la ki le a ta ki li a iya ke A ta ma khop pe a ka ki e ka ra khe na li la lu za he Yung kha ke a ki he a ke Ke a ki na ji hi na ha A to han he Ni hun kesh ni cha yi Ka kish ma yin ki te lo e Chanik te shni e loe E a kya Chan ke ma shtin cha la ki Chan te shi che na ki gila kya pe Hean kya Ma ma khash kan to na hun ke shni I haan kya hun ke shni wa hai na e cha vi cha pa hi Ma ta pi kha wa Wa bluush ka tiyosh lo wa Ma ka wa Tu swe cha wa I thun ka la Na cha phun ka hai na cha wa na Iwi cha chun na up tu ya iya ke api Ampe tu mwen li la O ka la hi na cha cha Chan ke ma ma ta pi kha ki ha Tim nit in na to ki ata pu za ke api Chan ke He ta unya iya api Cha li la chan te shi cha ke api Ho hai han Chakhlikhlila 
na ia eta kho o pewene pina mini wajish ma cha el mahel ikhbeapi kit inkta seche lo e ashke nkha hechena kea chea yae na lila unshilitza na unshila pi chi lila kita pi chi nihijia ke chi pi mini ke hel ikhbeapi hatas Nikta slokia Kea Ichi mini mahel umpi Wana shina na ha iya ki ha Aipi na kea Ata unshidit ek ers Echales Iya na ha iya kho Upe mini pi Na mini ma Mini wa lila shmacha ekta aipi na uikhpe api Na glitupi Hecha na kea shina ki ha eta ha ikpachlo ki na ha mini mahel wiyush ki shi nua yaya. Eash, payate ki it a keapi. Le la kho ta tales and text eta ha. Eta le pako wal eta in khusles wal iya chim pi ebche. Say we make you a leader well, We make you like Say we're going off to war And we make you a leader And you say Dennis you pick your own man And you pick uh, Some man that Uh like this uh, Kea He picked a toad Right He picked a cricket He picked the weakest And the slowest people So uh, The words I put in here was um, Maybe he picked some people That were not suitable Suitable for the mission For the mission, yeah Right For what you're going to do Maybe Uh Maybe you have uh, this little word called nepotism, right? Or what? Right, I don't. <laughs> I don't know if you would describe <laughs> nepotism as a small word, but um, <laughs> you know, nepotism's a yeah, you know, it's an eight-letter word, but uh, it should be a, a lot, a lot more than eight letters. I'll tell you yeah, that. But uh, um, so he picked some people that were uh, are not capable or not suitable. Suitable. So. Uh, uh, if you're listening out there, the ones that are, you make up your own mind. Right. Uh, what do you think? You, you pick the wrong people sometimes. And as a leader, what does that mean? See, that's the thing. You yeah. know, leadership, um, you're, putting leader, you're putting a leadership position, you know, because somebody thinks that you're capable of, uh, of leading but that's the thing is that you know yeah. <clears throat> they always say hindsight is twenty twenty. Yeah. Um, not really for a leader. Yeah. You're gonna get uh, you know if something does does go wrong. You're gonna get blamed. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. There is no going back and changing anything. So mm -hmm. that's the thing is you know being a leader. A lot of times you have to do things right the first time. The other thing is maybe planning. <clears throat> right. Okay. That's but that this, this care <laughs> was. Uh, <laughs> Say this guy was, uh, we'll say Kea is a man, okay, or maybe a woman. This word planning comes in, and then you pick your team. Mm -hmm. You know who to pick, okay. And the other one is train them. Right. And so you just pick anybody and expect him to do the job. Sometimes it don't work like that. Right. Okay, the other one is... Uh, uh, well, know what you are doing. Right. And what else? You know, going back to, uh, you know, the mud. Yeah. Uh, that's, the, you know, that, that analogy right there, um, that can, uh, a lot of people get stuck, you know, because they're not suitable or they're not adaptable to uh, to make it through, Tough times. 
there's no perseverance. Um, there's no fortitude. You, know, you yes. go back to the mm-hmm. virtues and the values. Um, yeah. You know, they just quit. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, that could be so leadership and, uh, you know, the, the training, that you, like, like you just said. So, What about this, um, when, the, when the, mm, uh, they, were, they were trying to uh, do something to care. They wanted to uh, get rid of him. Right. Okay, and then um, they didn't know that he, he can live in the water. Right. So they said, okay, we'll just throw him in the water. Water. That's what he wanted. And he wanted that. Right away, he he, he started crying. Mm -hmm. So the people, those people think that, uh, yeah, this guy's going to... He's going to drown. Yeah, he's going to drown. Right, right. So we'll just do it. We'll just throw him in the water and let him drown. Let him drown. After they made that decision, then Kea was really happy inside. Inside. Deep inside. He knew that if they put him in that water, he's going to live. Right. And as soon as they put him in the water, he was just happy. He and that's the thing is that uh, all these men, in the process of trying to get rid of him, you know, he, one of the guy cut his, they his own. They, they, they hurt themselves. Yeah. You know, that's yeah. um, one guy got hit in the head, all trying to, uh, to, to try to get rid of the leader. So, like, sometimes we, um, maybe these guys... Uh, sometimes, like, uh, say you and I are going off to war, or you and I are running a, a big uh, team, some anything, right. business or anything. So uh, we didn't plan. We just picked, uh, uh, say, we picked, uh, like, uh, um, say we're running a store, right? And we picked. Uh, uh, we didn't plan, so we just uh, said, okay, you and I will do everything. We'll just order mm-hmm. the food and. Uh, We'll, we'll we'll clean this house. We'll pay the electricity, and we'll pay uh, the vendors, and uh, we'll pay. Uh, we we don't know that there's going to be a lot of things involved. Involved, pretty right? Pretty soon, and you and I are not, uh, everything is going to guest us. Right. So pretty soon, uh, we, we might get rid of this third guy. Yep. Because he's going to he's not going to have that perseverance, or maybe uh, the truth. Exactly. Honesty, so he's going to leave. And then you and I will be holding the bag, and we'll go under. Or, you know, or he's not trained correctly. Yeah. Um, to, you know, you might have somebody uh, that can't add two plus two running a, a cash register. So um, see this. So the story actually tells you that you shouldn't do this. Like remember that little word says. Uh, so that you won't live like this. No, will not happen. Yeah, and this is just and this is while uh, um, The story making an analogy. Yeah, and you you make up your own mind. You right. learn from it. So and that's it's just wahunki ke is just wahunki. Yeah, wahunki is uh, in a way it gives you an advice to right. You you just see it. Uh, nobody's standing there lecturing you or uh, preaching to you. So that's how it is. Storytelling. We learn from it. Something. But, yeah, we learn something from it. <laughs> I right. learn, a, learn a lot from it. <laughs> so hopefully all you listeners out there, if you are listening, hopefully that... Uh, With, um, hope you like the story. And we'll bring you another one next week. Oh yeah. So have a real good evening, and you have been listening to the KILI Radio Hour. And I want to thank Hercules, Toshka Hercules, for all his help. I uh, I saw Toshka out there. She was waving, and then Dennis is out there. Good evening. Have a real good evening, and then. Yeah, I'd just like to say uh, thank you to um, uh, say hello to everybody at uh, Champaopi, um at the Wounded Knee School District, Champaopi, Iowa. Um, hello to all the staff, uh, the guys working tonight, um, all the, the teachers and the, and the support staff we have there. Just wanted to tell them hi and uh, thank you to the Lakota Nation for. Oh, oh, we also <laughs> would like to say happy birthday to Ryan. 
Ryan Charging Cloud, if he's out there listening. So, uh, happy birthday once again. He turned uh, turned 19 again, I think. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>